She is one of the most unique looking cats that I have ever seen with such striking markings on her face. I found Snickers on June 26, 2020 as I was running on a path through a cornfield a couple miles from my house. My mother had just passed away a few weeks prior and I took up running as a way to cope. All of a sudden, this tiny kitten comes wandering right out in front of me and stopped me in my tracks. I did not see any other cats around, so I gently reached down and she was surprisingly friendly. I could tell she was very sick. Her eyes were all goopy and draining. She kept shaking her head, so she clearly had ear mites. I could see lots of fleas on her, and each time she attempted to meow, no sound would come out. So I picked her up and held her the two miles back to my house. As soon as I got home, I took a couple pictures of her and posted flyers in my neighborhood to see if she would be claimed. I also gave her a bath and made an appointment to see the vet the next day. The vet gave her a full exam and did blood work and estimated she was about five months old. It was obvious she had some type of sinus infection. After a few days, no one claimed her, so I decided to do everything I could to make her well. But her condition was not getting any better, and after a few weeks, even though the vet tried a variety of meds, nothing was working. I had a decision to make. I could either put her down or the vet would send me to a specialist to try to get to the root of her problems. I chose to send her to the specialist. It was finally determined that she had two very large polyps growing in her inner ears and behind her eyes, and she would need two major surgeries. I decided to at least give her a fighting chance. She did well in the first surgery, and they were able to remove one large polyp. Six weeks later was the second surgery, and unfortunately, this one did not go as smoothly. During the procedure, the polyp they were attempting to remove dropped down into her throat and it caused her to lose consciousness for about 15 seconds. They immediately performed CPR and were able to revive her and get the polyp out. But because she was essentially brain dead for those 15 seconds, she woke up blind. Once again, it was asked of me if I wanted to put her down or bring home a blind cat. I was informed though that it was 50-50 if her eyesight would come back, it would all just depend on her body and her recovery. I of course made the decision to bring her home and if she ended up staying blind, then we were just love on her and figure it out. About eight weeks later though, I was waving a toy in front of her and I noticed that her eyes were moving back and forth. I immediately took her back up to the vet for an exam and her eyesight had indeed come back. Now I have a beautiful, healthy four-year-old cat with the biggest and brightest smile. She is incredibly unique and has a human-like personality. She loves to sit up and emulate how I'm sitting. She enjoys watching television, playing fetch with her favorite ball. She is very attached to me and will follow me everywhere I go in the house. Snickers and I both saved each other on that fateful day. I've always felt that my mother was watching out for me. She knew I needed Snickers as much as Snickers needed me.